Good morning everyone, welcome to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Rohan. I'm a fifth year medical student studying at the University of Cambridge. And today I'll be taking you along my day and I'll be dropping a few tips along the way about how to structure your day to get the most out of it. So my first one is to try to start your day a bit earlier than you actually need to to get to your work or placement on time. So for me, getting up at 5.30 means I can do more work in the morning when my mind is most fresh and I just don't feel as rushed as if I just got up just in time to get in. So that's my first tip. Let's get some coffee going and start doing some work. Hey guys, I'm just having my breakfast. As you can see, it's just pretty simple, just some eggs, uh, just to keep our focus. So yeah, my second tip today is to delay checking your notifications for as long as possible, particularly in the morning. And this is because even though it might seem quite quick just to clear all your notifications and check them, the problem is you often have small tasks to do from them. So you need to send someone a link, you need to kind of respond to an email or so something, but they're rarely that urgent but they really kind of distract your mind from actually the most important task of the day, which is probably studying or work or, or whatever. So I usually try to delay it as much as possible, particularly if the morning time is the best time for me to focus. And often, I mean, not today because I'm vlogging, I'll put my phone in another room and put it on do not disturb. If there's an emergency, someone will call you and let you know. But apart from that, we don't need to be checking notifications. So anyway, I'm just gonna crush these eggs and then get going with another deep work session and then we'll do something else later on. Hi guys, I'm just coming near the end of my gym session, just got one more exercise. So my third tip for the day is to try to do something physical every day. This is because the brain is inside the body, so if you look after the body, the body will also look after the brain. So there's numerous studies to show that exercise has good cognitive benefits. And you'll notice I'm trying to link in a bit more resistance training to my exercise regime, because I used to only do running, but there's some good evidence that if you do resistance training, the, there are some myokines released from the muscles and also osteocalcin from the bones which can uh, travel to the brain and help with like neuroplasticity and learning. I might even offset neurodegeneration in old age. So definitely some benefits to doing both. Um, it's all about getting the balance, I guess. So I'm just gonna do one more exercise. All right guys, I'm back for lunch. I've got a bit of a simple lunch, um, just some rice, some veggies and some chicken from the store. It's a bit of a cheat because most of it is just from the store, just heated up, but I'm in a bit of a rush. I've got to get into clean school soon. So let's get eating and go. Hi guys, we just finished a seminar in this room on neurogenetics. Not gonna lie, it was a bit of a niche topic, but some interesting things, some mitochondrial diseases, um, which, yeah, it was kind of interesting to go through, learn about some new genetic uh, concepts. And yeah, my fourth tip of the day I wanted to share is to try and get your hardest task done at the start of the day. So early in the day, um, I did my Anki, and then I also did some Oski preparation, which I find a bit more mentally draining. And now, kind of think of it, you know, kind of like that mid-afternoon period, I'm feeling quite tired. So I'm thinking it's going to be quite hard to, you know, bash out some more work, but hopefully I can do something a bit easier now and still be productive in that time. So that's tip number four. Stay tuned for our final tip of the day later on.
you are an <laughs> FY1 doctor mm. um, in A&E, um, you've been told to give Mr. Test um, some IV fluids. You okay. have nine minutes to do this. In three, two, one, begin. Okay. Hello, is it Test Test? Yep. Hello, my name is Rohan Yasudin. I'm a year five student doctor. Yeah, see, how, how come when I do it, it's always like, oh, because I'm doing it the wrong way around. Vanessa, <laughs> <laughs> do you have any advice how I can improve my fluids? Um, probably setting it up nearest to the patient. Yeah. <laughs> I literally set it up somewhere else and walked across with like a critical part just in the air. I shouldn't do that in the exam. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I've been giving some tips through this video and I asked Lenes for his pearls of wisdom on kind of studying and structuring days and stuff. Lenes, any thoughts? This oyster does not have any pearls, I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> It needs a bit of time to develop still. Uh, come back to me. Okay. No, wait, actually, actually, my bonus tip, maybe for the nurse, is study with people mm. who's better than you. This is why I came with Lunes, because Lunes is the practical skills maestro. Oh, God, no. no and he was no, teaching no, no. me how to do different things. So we did like IV fluids, as well. and we did like some suturing. And I definitely need the practice. So thanks to this man, Lunes. Well, thank you for coming as well. <laughs> <laughs> I got quite serious. <laughs>So we're just about wrapping up on the day and I wanted to share my final tip, I think it's uh, number five we're on, uh, for today and that is to have a sustainable study routine. Now it might seem by the title of this video that that might be a bit misleading but you know I do like to get on sleep on time, I do value rest and doing things apart from the studying. One thing to note is that consistency will always beat out kind of these hard sprints of work because even if it might feel like you're getting more done if you like push yourself really to the ground, actually consistency will always win out and it's just a lot better mentally and physically for us. So anyway, um, that's the, all the five tips. I'll put it somewhere up on the screen. I hope you found them useful and why don't you put in the comments below which one you found most useful and what you might be wanting to integrate into your study routine. I'll also put up some on the screen, a previous video which, uh, well a few other videos I've done where I go more into the science behind uh, the study practices and uh, some of the tools for productivity. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.